Are you struggling to find food in Sounds of the Forest or having difficulties with setting up traps efficiently to protect your base from unwanted guests? Well, good news because here is your man 4EM back at it again with some super efficient feather and animal hunting methods, including winterproof tips to still thrive during the harshest weather conditions on the island. In this guide, I'm going to show you a very nice way to get rid of cannibals from the early game. So let's get right to it. Before we get started, I quickly want to thank every single one of you guys for leaving the awesome feedback on my previous two Sons of the Forest videos. They are literally blowing up right now, which is so nice to see. They are definitely helpful if you're new to the game, but yes, let's start off with a very efficient bird trap, which is going to be so much better than the little birdhouse which you can craft, as this one only generates just a couple of feathers every X amount of time, while you're going to need plenty of these to craft arrows, which is going to be essential for hunting. So what you should do instead is actually hunt them so you can get your hands on so many more. The problem is though, you don't want to shoot your own birdhouse as then you will simply destroy it. So what you want to do is right click and place a couple of these sticks in the ground. The distance of the fence can do the job as well. Then we're going to throw a couple stones underneath them to reinforce them a little bit. And then you want to take out some skulls, which you can basically find everywhere. You could also use cannibal heads. Both will work just fine. I've got one more skull right here. So there we go. And if we stand back a little bit, you can see that birds will start landing on top of these. So if you start crouching, you will scare them less quickly. And then we're also going to take out our catapult. But this is basically what you want to do to get your hands on an infinite amount of feathers. You don't even have to wait a long time before they pop up again. I mean, they will keep coming, which is very nice. So you can keep farming for all the feathers you will ever need. And the nice thing about the catapult is that it also has free ammo, let's say. So you can pick up all these little pebbles on the floor, all these little rocks which you can find here and there. So just keep your eyes on the ground. But yeah, if you don't have the catapult yet, of course, you can also pull this off with a bow. Anyways, let's move on to small animals because these are also pretty easy to trap if you know how to set it up, basically. So right here, we've got a turtle. These are probably the easiest creatures to catch. When you press and hold the mouse button and look down, you can one-shot them basically with your X. While all the other animals like uh, squirrels and rabbits are a lot more difficult to catch. While if you have a nice setup, you can instantly catch them with these small traps. So what I recommend you to do is build a setup at a location where you frequently see them passing by. And this usually happens for me personally behind my house. So they walk past the river and walk straight through this trap right here. Well, I think it's going to be even more efficient to just hunt them yourself near, for example, water sources, as it only takes one shot to take them out and you can even get your ammo back while you're at it. Very efficient. Small creatures are nice and all, but you want to focus on bigger ones as they have higher food yields. For example, deer. I decided to just rest for a second and it's all of a sudden winter. Wow, that's next level. During winter though, you're going to have some serious trouble finding small rocks. And it might even be impossible because of the snow. So what I recommend you to do is stock up on as many small rocks as possible. You can have up to 30, then craft all the arrows you can carry. If you were unprepared for the winter, well, I suggest you to go to the coast as right here you can still find all these small rocks on the beach, which is going to make it super easy to stock up on them again. And if you don't live right next to the coast, make sure to also bring enough sticks and feathers so you can already craft your first batch of arrows at the spot. So now that we have all the arrows we need, we can continue the hunt, but you're also going to find out that creatures will pop up less frequently in comparison with other seasons. While if you stay close to water sources where they can drink, they will still pop up quite frequently. If water is still flowing, I see them popping up all the time, while right here they are just chilling on the ice. Make sure to crouch and get close enough to make that first shot count, as you won't always be able to kill them with one shot. It's also not really recommended to hunt with your spear as you won't be able to one-shot deer with it. They will simply stand up and run away with your spear still sticking in their body. And trust me, if they're on the run, it's going to be so much more difficult to take them down. Anyways, what's going to be awesome for early game is to focus on a bone maker trap as these allow you to instantly kill many of the smaller cannibals. You can use a catapult for this or something else. Just stand behind the trap and when they walk in there, they will simply get burned to death, which is 
just so satisfying to watch, but also very effective. You can achieve the same result if you use a campfire, but this will deal less damage while these bigger cannibals, these brutes, let's say, are immune to the trap while they will still take fire damage. And sometimes it seems like they are actually quite vulnerable to this. Now, I've experimented a lot with fish traps and fishing in general, and it seems like the fish traps are currently pretty bugged. On Reddit and other places, you can find out that many people are having the same issues, simply not catching fish with them. I already placed them in different locations, ponds, but also rivers with flowing water, but seems like nothing is getting trapped, while catching fish is actually super easy once you know how to do it. If the trout or salmon spot you, they will simply swim away, while if you crouch in or near the water, they will most likely not detect you. Then you wanna just jab them with your spear, and if you press and hold that button, you can instantly eat the fish for a lot of HP regen as well as hunger. So there you have it, a very efficient bird trap to get your hands on all the feathers you will ever need, which still works very well in winter by the way, while small animals and deer hunting is also gonna be pretty easy with these tips and tricks. Make sure to get that burning cannibal trap as quick as possible as well, so you will increase your chances of survival in Sons of the Forest. Ladies and gentlemen, a big thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like if you found this video helpful, it helps out the channel big time, you have no idea. Right now though, it is 4am out, so if if you have some more questions and suggestions for future videos, leave them in the comments down below. I want to wish you good luck on your survival adventure. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.